party. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do a more modern French twist and some tips and tricks on how to get it to hold and stay and um, look really classic but still have more of a modern twist on it. So I have the model, my beautiful mannequin, sectioned out right now with a rectangular section on top. I want this French twist to go all the way from her face and look really um, elegant and classic. So I took a triangular section from kind of where her naturally goes back. So on me, it's about right here. Mannequin, it's here. And I went back and I made a rectangle on the top. And I sectioned that away. I also have prepped her hair a little bit by using dry shampoo, some texture spray, and then I curled it to give it a little texture. If you want to have a um, French twist that really has a lot of movement and a lot of little bits of texture that you can really see, I would recommend going through and curling the whole head with a one inch curling iron and then finger combing through it. This is a one and a half inch and I just quickly did it to get a little bit of bend in the ends um, for today's video. So what I'm going to do first is go through and I'm going to back comb through the middle here. And that's because I want this to be nice and full and this is where most of my pinning is going to go. So I'm going to go through and take some um, horizontal sections and we're going to back comb pretty vigorously here. And this is because we're actually not going to see really any of this hair. So you can do it pretty good. And we want a lot of grip. So I went through that comb that. And you can see that it's kind of big and full. And then the other side, I'm going to do um, sections through this side because this side is going to pull over and our French twist is going to wrap around this way. So my first side, I'm going to go through and back home. And I'm taking vertical sections this time. I want to get a little bit of texture in through here. So I'm back combing and I'm back combing right up to the ear and I'm not back combing the very front because that's the part that you're going to see. And if I back home there, you'll see that back homing. So what we're going to do now is take this hair and you're going to kind of finger through it because I want this to be loose and soft. I'm going to spray it with some texture spray. I'm using Kenra brand today. And I'm going to be kind of heavy handed on it. Okay. And then I'm also going to use a little bit of hairspray. Like I said, I want it to be soft, but have texture. So I'm using my fingers to kind of comb through and you can even pull it a little bit with your fingers to get more texture. Now I'm going to take my bobby pins and I'm going to make a seam up the middle and I'm going to do that seam not right in the center, but actually farther over because I want this French twist to cover the whole back of her head and not be those tight French twists that we saw back in the day. So I'm going over, not all the way to her ear, but pretty far over. And I'm going to start by putting one bobby pin in the middle and that's just because I want to get the hair to stay. So you can see, this is the center of her head. I have the body pins all the way over here. So I'm going to make a seam all the way up. So what I'm doing is overlapping each bobby pin and crisscrossing as I go. And so then I make sure it's nice and secure. So I have three here. You might need more depending on the thickness of your client's hair. And then the top bobby pin I'm going down. So that will just kind of seal all that hair in. So now you have your base for the first sweep of your French twist. And you want to go over here and look and make sure this is exactly how you want it because this is what you're going to see. So if you want it to be a little fuller, you can pull it out. If you want it to be a little smoother, you can comb it in. But that's how we start the French twist. Then what I'm going to do actually is I like to take this bottom section here. So this is the whole nape of the neck. You can see from under here. Now I could pull it over and pin it in with the rest of these. But what happens sometimes is you get drooping down here. And I don't want this to droop on the neckline. I want it to come up. So what I'm going to do is pin all of this inside my French twist. And that will also help my twist to be really full and big. So what I'm going to do is take this hair, hold it out, and I'm going to back comb a lot. So I'm really pushing with my comb. And you can see that it's just sticking. So you really want to back comb that a lot. Just like this. And then I'm going to take the ends. If you have really long hair, you can roll up these ends even more or sort of medium length. So I can just tuck these in and I'm rolling it up into the back of the hair here. And I'm going to give it a little pin here. And because I back home this section, I have something to pin that in. And I'm going to go up and just make sure this is all pinned in by gathering the hair and pushing it down. 
And so this is creating tension up through the bottom so that part doesn't droop. And it's giving me some volume to make a nice big French twist without having to use a donut or any um, hair pieces. If your bride has really thin hair, like super thin hair, you can actually take wefts of hair and just back comb them and stick it in here and pin like this if you want to get it bigger. So that's a little tip. Go like that, give it a little spritz. So now you can see I have this side good. My bottom is pulled up. And then I'm going to start with the top. So the reason that I do the top first and not this is because I want the top to be tucked in here and not to see any ends. If I do this side first, I'm not going to have, um, I'm not going to have any place to put the top pair and then you'll be able to see it somewhere tucked in. So that's why I'm doing the middle next. So what I'm going to do here is take this hair and I want this to be full and I want it to be a little bit texturized. So I'm going to go through and back comb a little bit. Like I said, I've already prepped this hair by using some dry shampoo at the roots. I've also used texture spray and I've curled it with some hairspray. So we already have some good texture going in through here before I even begin. Um, and that's going to really help get the volume that you want. So you can see I'm going in and taking horizontal sections, back combing to get some good lift. And like I said before, if you take a, um, a curling iron, texture iron, and you go through, you can get the kind of look that you want on top. So if you really want it wavy, then go in with tight curls and finger comb through. For the sake of time, like I said, I just did a little bit of curl to get a little bit of bend. So what I'm going to do now, now that I back comb so you can see it's got some puff, I'm going to go through the front. I'm actually going to spray it with my texture spray and then fingering through it to get that lift that I want. Now, if someone has really fine hair, you might have to use more dry shampoo um, at the base. You might have to use a really small texture iron to get that lift. You have to kind of make do with the hair that they have. Mannequin head hair is on the easier side to do. So you can see when you look straight on that I've got the kind of lift that I want. So I'm still leaving this side out because this is what I'm going to do last. And I'm going to pin this back and if I was looking in the mirror I'd kind of see how much lift I want and use my fingers to kind of pull forward and get the texture that I want. So that's how I want it. Now if your hands feel like you can't hold all that, I recommend putting a clip in like this and then sitting in the mirror and kind of pinning through it to see how you want it. And then once you get it right, you can hairspray it and over the top like that. And then you're having this to hold so you don't have to hold it with your fingers and try to get it perfect. Okay, so this hair is all going to be tucked into the French twist as well. So I can leave this clip here if that's helpful and I can start pinning. So I'm just actually going to go straight down into the back combing that I already have. And that's going to just keep that hair in there so I can take this out. All right. So now that we have this in here, I still have this section that I'm saving for last. And I want to just gather this hair into the middle so I can get a nice full French twist. So I'm just going to take these ends and twist them and pin them in. And it doesn't have to look any certain way because this is all going to get covered up, like I said, with the French twist. And the reason that we're doing this is to give it more volume back here without having to use a donut or anything. So I'm going to kind of spread it out to make sure it's even. The other thing to consider is your bride might want a veil right here. So if you have too many bobby pins, the veil will get stuck. So it's better to use less bobby pins um, and pin it more in the base here and then have a bunch of pins right here. So then you're not jamming a bobby or jamming a veil into your bobby pins. All right. So our last piece is going to be this section and I'm going to do the same thing that I did on this side. And that means I'm going to be taking those vertical sections and back combing through to give it a little bit of texture. And I want it to match the other side. So I'm doing the same thing that I did over there by back combing. And you can use a little more texture spray if you need to. And I'm only going to the ear. I'm not going past the ear because otherwise you'll see the spray. Or sorry, you'll see the back combing. All right, this is where the magic happens, you guys. So I'm doing what I did on the other side where I'm using my texture spray, spraying it around. I'm using some hairspray to get it where I want it because all of this, you want it to look good on this side. So you can see 
If I want to make it more textury, I would kind of pull through like that. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is take this hair and like the classic French twist, you're going to pull it around all this. So I'm wrapping it around all this back combing and everything that we did under here. You can see that? And I am going to roll it and tuck it in. Now you have to sort of experiment and see and make sure your hair is long enough. If your hair is too short, it's not going to go all the way around here. So you need to sort of evaluate at the beginning how big you can have this middle section to be able to wrap this hair around. I knew that her hair was long enough that I'd be able to reach all the way around. So that's why I was able to do it like this. If her hair is really long, you won't have any problem. So I'm rolling it in with my fingers and pulling it. And I'm just gonna do one pin on the inside. So I'm flipping it under and then I'm doing the pin inside of the French twist. Pull like so. Doesn't have to be super pretty because we're gonna go through and fix it. So once it's staying where you want it, then you can go through, you can spray it, you can kind of piece it apart to get that texture that you want. And then after you have that done, you can go through and perfect it. So you can see I have hair up here, I don't want that. So I'm gonna tuck that in, pin it with a bobby pin, and sort of pull this hair up. So you can see how I can pull it up and cover the pins that I have there. The other thing that I wanna do is make sure this piece, that whole piece that we swept is really, really secure. So I'm going to be taking my pins and going in to the scalp, turn it, and then back in. I'm going to do the same thing a few times. In towards the scalp, and back in like that. And then making sure there's no hair underneath either that's poking through. Okay. And so what I'm going to do at this point then is sort of take a look at it and see if I want to have more texture and I can use my fingers to kind of rough it up a little bit. I'm gonna make sure there's no pins showing on the side. So you can see that there are a few pins. So what I like to do then is pull more hair over the top of those pins like that. And eventually you push the pins in and pull over, you won't see anymore. So if I see a spot where there is a pin, then I'll find another section and kind of pull, pull the hair up and over like that. You can go through and make sure you still have that nice texture on this side. You can see that this isn't quite as tight as I want it to be. After I talked about no drooping, I didn't pull it up tight enough. So I'm just going to take a pin and I'm going to go up into the updo. Because you have all that nice back combing up in there, you have a lot of hair to pin into. So there's a lot, a good base. And I'm going to sort of pull it out because I want this to be a little bit soft. So you can see how you have some flexibility with how much texture you want it to be. Um, you can see that it kind of spreads over the whole side of the head, which is great. And then from the front, it's nice and full. So I would go through and pull and make sure the balance is good. And then really spray it good. She doesn't have any short pieces in front really, but you know, people like to have a little piece out around their face, so you can go ahead and do that. But otherwise, this is a pretty nice, simple French twist that's a little more modern. You can see how a veil would just nicely fit in there. You could also put a hair piece or a comb right there, and that would really add to it. So there you have it. If you like this video, please like my video, subscribe, comment if you have anything to say, and I hope to see you next Monday. Thank you. Bye-bye.